Okay. So uh, why don't you start off by introducing yourself? Hi, I'm Balraj Indala. And uh, how long have you been training with us for Laraj? Um, probably about like seven, eight years. Oh my god, that's a long time. <laughs> so how old were you when you started? Uh, I was seven. Seven years old? Yeah. Okay. So that's a huge commitment. What have you learned? If there was one thing that stayed with you the most in the years that you've been with us, that is that has changed your life. I know that your life has changed in so many ways, but what's the one thing that you'd be walking away with here? Um, knowing that I have responsibility and um, uh, also because of the discipline here too. Okay. So how has that discipline affected you in other areas of your life? It makes me more like less childish I guess wow so you've done a lot of growing up is what you're saying yeah well I personally have noticed a huge huge change in you I mean you've always been wonderful don't get me wrong but yeah I've noticed a huge growth uh, a change in maturity in you and so has everybody else so for that I'm extremely proud of you because you know a lot of people experience growth on different levels some tend to get a little too obnoxious yeah. when they go through that growth process but we're very happy to say that you don't fall into the obnoxious category. <laughs> so what else? What else have you taken from your, your martial arts journey here at TriUnity? Um, I learned like a lot about like respecting each other as well okay. in classes and stuff and trying to be nicer because I remember when a few years back I kind of sort of picked on someone before okay. and I, I learned that um, uh, you, should probably, you probably shouldn't do that and be respectful to one another that's incredible and you know that truly is the way of a martial artist the rush it really truly is when I tell people um, you know when people ask me how does it feel I can't sum it up in one word it's a lifestyle mm -hmm. it becomes a part of you and it's something that stays with you for the rest of your life so would it be fair for me to say that you've noticed those positive changes outside of your martial arts school like have you implied those uh, changes that you've experienced through your your martial arts journey to other areas of your life yeah sure. such as what like how has it affected you at school um yeah school um i used to be when i was a kid i used to make a lot of trouble okay. and i got um i sometimes i got a little bit of attention but uh now that i was here i kind of you mature a little bit and i'm getting getting uh, good friends and stuff like that because okay. before I didn't have you know two like I didn't have the greatest friends okay so now I have kind of good friends because my parents always told me to always make good decisions in your life when it comes to friends and stuff because um, if you don't you can probably walk down a bad path so yeah. your parents are a million percent correct that's exactly what I've taught my parents as a or my children as a parent and uh, really and truly your circle of influence which is your friends mm -hmm can have a huge impact on your life. So yeah. I'm so grateful to hear that by being in an environment like this, you've been able to change and adapt to your circle of influence in a very positive way. Yeah. And that makes me really proud of you. Um, now, what would you like to say to Sensei Carlos? If there was anything you would want to say to him in person, mm -hmm. but maybe felt like you couldn't, what would you say to him now? Thank you for teaching me about respecting each other and um, thank you for the discipline as well because that really helped a lot because without that I probably wouldn't really be as uh, where I am right now because if I didn't come here or if I didn't like take any of these classes or if I just like just didn't come at all I wouldn't really be the person I am. That just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> You have no idea how truly happy and proud that makes me of you as first and foremost a mom, then a martial artist, and of course, you know, uh, being the mama bear in this place and Sensei Carlos is a papa bear. That makes me extremely proud because that's exactly what we strive for, Barrage, is yeah. the changes that you've experienced is what we um, seek to achieve on a daily basis. So I'm really grateful that during the seven years that you've been here with us, we have molded you into who you've become today. But I want you to know that that would not have happened had it not been for your own personal perseverance, for your own, everything that you put into this is what you got out of it, okay? As well, I'd like you to say thank you to your mom and dad um, on this video, 
uh, as well as obviously in, in person. I'll make sure that, that a thank you is said during our graduation, which is coming up on Saturday. Yeah. I'm so excited for you. So what would you like to say to mom and dad? Thank you, mom and dad, for taking me to these classes. It really helped a lot with my personal life. And, yeah. and you know, um, speaking of personal, and then there's outside of personal, I promise you that you being a martial artist is going to have a huge impact on your life. Um, not just personally, but in all areas of your life, yeah. uh, you know, in your profession, in your relationships with your coworkers, and and every other being. Because as martial artists, we just become a different type of a person. You know, we become more intuitive. We become more sensitive towards others. And I'm just so happy to see that you've grown into being this incredible martial artist and a yeah. soon-to-be black belt. Thank you so much for all the years you've committed with us. I do hope and pray that you do continue. Um, staying with us and and working towards getting your sensei uh, certificate um, one day yeah. but you know what we'll cross that bridge after Saturday so thank you for your time thank you for being a part of our family and thank you for being so amazing yeah. thank you